Man, you ready to talk this shit? Can we can start. Hey, man. Open it up. Man. Open it up. <laughs> there I go. You know what that means? Yes, sir. What are they? You don't know what that means? What I mean, market is open. Yeah. Yeah. Market is open. Yeah. That means there's black money. That yeah. means there's black people in yeah. here. That means, hey, come get it. Come get it. Come get it, yeah. man. Welcome to the black market, first Thank of all. You. First of all. <laughs> First of all, glad to have man, you out we here, got bro. none other than respected glad Bruce in here, here with us today. And shit, we're going to get right into it, because we got a whole lot of stuff to talk about. Dude. So you say y'all started in his apartment? Yeah, I let Jared start it. Man, so uh, Jared. Introduce yourself, first of all. I'm Jared Patterson. This is my business partner, my brother, Jason Hawkins. Uh, got 100% of respected roots right here. Uh, Respected Roots is a brand. We do a whole lot of things that we're going to get into, but primarily we are a natural grooming line uh, created for everybody that has skin in here. So people ask who can use it. It's for everybody. But the main reason is because um, there weren't products for our people, for our skin, for our hair types on the market. Right? So everything that we do is natural. We stay plant-based. We got everything from body wash, soaps, hair moisturizers, beer, conditioner, body butter, which is our number one selling product, co-wash for your beard. And we brought gifts for all of you guys. For real? So, yeah. yeah, before we get out of here, we got gift baskets. And if I knew all of y'all have been here, we'd have bought more. But I think we got you covered. You know where we at. You can always come back. All right. <laughs> what are you smelling like? Man, that's what that's Every what gets you know, what what us hooked. Like, like, that's what get us hooked. If yeah. you, that come yeah, back. Yeah, you know, you need to, you need to, you know. They smell good, real tropical over here. Yeah. So, so fragrance is big, man. Tropical. If, you don't, yeah. if it don't smell good, yeah. I like, we like to talk the example. The first thing you do when you wash your clothes is what? Just that one. Put them to your nose, yeah. right? So if yeah. it don't smell good, you're not going to wear it. Yeah. That was a big issue because products that was natural, they didn't have a a good smelling fragrance, sometimes it's very, very earthy. Mm -hmm. So like my brother Jason was saying, man, it started out of necessity. Um, my family has a big culture of natural products. My mother rocked the, the high top fade in the 80s and all of that. So Your mama had one? She had one, man. She used That's to do all said. the natural medicine and natural oh, okay. uh, oils and yeah. that kind of stuff, which was the inspiration for that first product, the beer conditioner. Right? Hell yeah. So the beer conditioner is all natural, man. Shea butter. Yeah, all black people love shea butter. Yeah, that's why I would mess with the little Cocoa body butter. butter. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. My bad. Yeah. I just, yeah, you know, you I get excited around too, black man. products. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yep, so yeah, this uh, hidden, that's the theme for everything, man. We got oils, beard oil, hair uh, hair oil, rose hip is the, the main oil in there. Yeah, you're going you to be put together before you get through all them products, Los. <laughs> man, that's one of them ones right there. Yeah, man. Fragrance is amazing. Bring you back to life right here on the set. Like all, he can use all these together, right? Absolutely. He mess around and his beard catch on fire. Because <laughs> two, four different things. Hey, man. Hey, oh, 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 put that shit on. You just use no, the beard on. Man. Don't touch the body butter. <laughs> so that's actually a real popular question, man. People want to know, do I use the beard conditioner first or the beard oil? Yeah. Really, I, my preference is to use the oil last as a finisher. OK. So people's preference is to use the oil first and then the beard conditioner. They are natural products, right? Okay. So you good. No, okay, cool. I see y'all put the candle out right here. Y'all ain't gonna catch on fire. You ain't need to do right, that. Right, right, right. We appreciate I, I, it. Who, I ain't do it. Who did? <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, that's sure, us, light man. it. Uh, spray it on there. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. Yeah, I got the body butter yeah, and yeah, beard oil. That's, <laughs> that's plant based, too. It's going to yeah. burn a long time. Nah. Yeah. But that's dope, us, though. man. Uh, the culture, man. I, I, I do want to take a second to thank you, two brothers. Uh, Marcus was just up here. Awesome brother. Uh, we just always passing each other in the city of Atlanta. What you guys are doing for the community is amazing. I don't know if you realize it or not. I'm sure people are telling you, but sometimes when you in the doing, you don't, you don't, like us, we moving so often, man, and people that tell us, we love what you're doing. I'm like, man, I'm just working. Right. So thank you guys for having your nose to the grindstone, uh, being pillars in this community. Uh, what you've done, you know what I'm saying, being on TV, man, the same spirit that we see coming through that television 
is here right here today, man. So thank you probably 10 years, 15 years looking back from now. You know, you might be hosting a talk show or wherever right. you want to take your career, yeah. whatever you want to do. And you're like, man, remember we was over on Morrow, man. And so thank you, brothers. Man. Man, Jason, thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all yeah, for no doubt. creating this product, man. And let people know where it's available. People going to be watching and want to know. They're going to want to smell the body butter and the oil and want the whole kit, man. So where can where can they pick it up? Yes, sir. You can, you can purchase our products online at respectedroots.com. We started out as an e-commerce business eight years ago, but we also have stores in popular malls like Lenox Square, the Gallery in Houston, Pentagon City in DC. We're very hairy, populated in our areas where our people live. You What's the next mean? step? Where y'all want to take the brand to? Uh, it's unlimited. It's really unlimited because we have two sides to our, to our, our, our brand. We have the non-for-profit, which is our Respected Roots Brotherhood initiative, where Jared and I are going into the high school, specifically APS, where we work. And we work with the Phoenix Academy there, with, you know, led by Principal Youssef Muhammad. We go in there, we work with our young African-American males, ninth grade to 12th grade, specifically. We teach them life skills. Things that we know they're not learning in school, things we know like to have uh, financial literacy, how to deal with conflict. Instead of using aggression, how to use your head. You know so what I'm saying? Show them how to start a business. Yeah, and that's yeah. Based, entrepreneurship is one of the things that we, we teach, you know what I'm saying? So it's a 15-week curriculum. Outside of our, our for-profit side, you know, we, we've established the groundwork to what it is. And what we're doing now is, you know, trying to scale our business even more, uh, but also being trendsetters in the industry, teaching people, because there's so many other people who's trying to make products of their own, and uh, they really don't know what to do outside of making their products. And a lot feel as though the apex is to go into the shelves of big box retailers. You right. see what I'm saying? We chose opposite of that. <clears throat> we were invited to go to uh, some of the top big box retailers that you guys know of. And uh, we, we went, we listened to their stories, but it didn't appeal to us. You know, as I mentioned to you, we're 100% owners, and we don't have no desire, and we're not sell ours. We don't have to. Oh, well, check this out. It's just crazy that this is such a small world. You got a whole line of plant-based products. I got a partner right there. Everything he do is plant-based. That's oh, actually, man. yeah. Yeah, that's great. Man. Yeah. Man, that's man, that yeah. dude right there. Yeah. Great, you got some of this? <laughs> yeah. It's hidden, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know if he uses it, it's really plant-based because he going to look up all the ingredients. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you want know, Chico shop with us, man. Where? He comes and visits yeah. us at Lennox. Uh, I don't know how many times he done been through. Yeah, because yeah. he's a shopper. He's an avid shopper. Yeah. All the time. He shops everywhere he goes. You know, everybody that support, man, we appreciate Because it's not only him, but, you know, all you guys just for having us on the show. Right. We appreciate that. That's what this whole platform is yeah. for, man. It ain't just about us, man. We got to open it up to everybody in the community mm -hmm. and, you know what I mean, let people know who is dope amongst us so we can support. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, we're glad saying? you kept it independent, too, because, exactly. like, you said they buy up all the black brands mm -hmm. and then everybody get mad because it ain't the same product because right. they making it for a bottom Absolutely. line instead of making it yeah. with Absolutely. a purpose and a reason so yeah but if they yeah. want to buy it sell it to them then start another <clears throat> well a lot of times you can't do that we got to get our own we got to get our money up now, as, and you know we don't knock we don't knock any other brands who, who who've taken that step you know yeah. what i'm saying because we also understand the process and the urgency sometimes you know when you when you are a self uh, you know entrepreneur exactly Bro, you're gonna have your highs and lows. You see what I'm saying? I know. And uh, you're competing in a market that is saturated with thousands of people who are trying to put something in the marketplace, right? So a lot of times when uh, some of these brands, they're offered this money, you know, maybe 50 to $100 million, they see that because they, you know, they, their products are on these shelves at these big box retailers and they may be moving 40, 50 million pieces, uh, 40, 50 million dollars globally, but they only receiving like $8 million of that. Those big box retailers is taking that. We opened up carts and malls. We get 100% of everything. We own it. I see what you're doing. You dig what I'm saying? I like it, yeah. yeah. So, it makes know, sense. It's showing, a lot of sense. We're showing our people how to do it. And uh, a lot of times, you know, we all heard the saying, you know, all money ain't good money. Right. So we've been approached many a times, and, and we still say the same thing. There you you go. ain't got enough in that bag talking. Sometimes you right. got to turn it down. Mm -hmm. The power is right. in saying no. Yeah. Yeah. So look, I know some people are gonna be watching this and they're gonna wanna they're gonna wanna reach out about the program that you spoke about for the young men. So no. where can they look up more information about that? Yes, sir. Please go to rrbhi.org. That is rrbhi.org. That's Respective Roots Brotherhood Initiative. Uh, you learn more about our mission, what we're doing, our, our initiative with the kids, how we interact with our, not only with our children, but also becoming a sponsor. 
we bring, we just had our first career fair right. for our kids. After the curriculum is over, we brought in uh, about four to five different companies. Uh, IBEW, we are familiar with electrical workers here. Uh, we had AV, local 85. Local 85 uh, built this city. Right. Yeah. So they're teaching our young men trades. Right. right. So you can't take that from them. You see what I'm saying? So as they learn that business, they work within that business five, six years later down the road, then you start talking about entrepreneurship. Then you start bringing the people in. Y'all got any products that's like specifically for the ladies? Yeah. All of our products are unisex. Uh, the ladies typically gravitate towards, towards this product, gravitate towards this product here, which is our hair and scalp oil. Okay. Uh, ladies love the hair, right? The hair mm -hmm. moisturizer. Yeah, exactly. mm -hmm. This body butter, man, is uh, is great for men and women, kids as young as uh, two years old. Uh, they really love that product. The body wash has an amazing fragrance to it. We don't put any chemicals. A lot of ladies uh, like how that how that works for them. Mm -hmm. uh, no chemicals, no dyes, no colors uh, okay. in the product. And even the foam and co-wash, they use that. So my mother put me on game, really. She said, that foam and co-wash that you have is amazing. I said, Ma, that's, you know, that I didn't intend it for the ladies. Well, how are you using it? She said, well, I use it to remove my makeup. Oh. She said, it's water-based. Mm. Uh, it's very gentle on my skin. It's got olive oil inside of there, so it doesn't strip all of the natural uh, oils away from your body because God gave us what we need. Okay. Right. And sometimes we get in the way, right? Yeah. Sometimes we like, oh, I got too many pimples. Let me wash my face yeah. four times a day. Let me wash my face off. Your body's off. like, here goes yeah. some more oil because you need some oil. Because so you drain your face. Right. 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 So right. we have we have uh, realistic, holistic solutions to problems that people are trying to fix themselves. Uh, and we try to keep everything unisex. The only thing that's exclusively for men is what you see in that gold can, the beer condition. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Ladies ain't trying to go to beer. There's some, there's some ladies out there that hey, they might want it. You know what I'm saying? That ain't. They that might ain't want it. I want, to, I want to say this too, man. Bro was just talking about our rrbhi.org. We got any golfers, man. We host a golf tournament every single year. This year will be our third annual. We call it the Golf Classic. Mm -hmm. I might not it. play golf, but I might pull up. Please pull do. Up, man. Need They'll need some shit talkers at every event. Please you gotta do. have it, man. Oh, I got you, you covered. Y'all yeah. yeah. got that on footage, right? Carlos? Lil Grill. Yeah. Lil Grill talking shit. Oh, he ain't gonna yeah. do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta be quiet. Talk with your motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Only nigga that can talk shit and whisper still. You stupid. Show, man. But this year we partnered with Chateau Elan. That's what right. We'll be there September, uh, what weekend is that? Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. September 3rd and the uh, 2nd. We'll have a mixer the 2nd, the night before, where we have everybody oh, participating. Up. Yeah, yeah. We come yeah. out we're at midnight, we're going to do a rock the, uh, rock the Range, where we do some long drives, get surprises away. Uh, it's, it's, it's having fun, venturing out into new activities, you know what I'm saying to you, but still keeping our swag with what we're doing because we focus on the young men. That's the bottom line. So. And rbh.org? RBHI. BHI.org. Yes. And what's Respected yeah. Roots Brotherhood Initiative? We need more volunteers. Yeah, how can people help? Yeah, there you go. Because uh, we bring, you know, we bring people in from the community that relate to our young men. We just recently had a young man that uh, retired at the age of 24. He, he creates NFTs. And so when he came in to speak to our young men, you got to see how their eyes light up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I know the younger generation, the millennials and the Generation Z, a lot of times they hear a lot of people talking about them. You know what I'm saying? That y'all, y'all, y'all ain't listening. Y'all entitled. Y'all blah blah blah. But let me tell you, they're the smartest generations. You see what I'm saying? They need what we have to get to them, so they can push forward. They're the ones who's breaking these chains. They're the ones who's pushing these barriers down. So instead of talk about it, be about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we do what we do. Show man. There so you have it, man. I want to shout out to our website. If y'all want to get any of these products, we are located here in Atlanta, here in the city. This is the 85 South Show. Yes. And I know y'all love y'all Amazon. So people that order in Atlanta, y'all typically get y'all products the next day or in two days, right? So we got awesome shipping here in the city. And even if you're not here, uh, we get your products in the mail same day most of the time. That's of course you order on a, a weekend or something. So business. our website is respectedroots.com. That's R-E-S-P-E-C-T-E-D roots, R-O-O-T-S dot com. And we even have more products than this. We didn't bring everything. We got a pick, a, uh, a wooden pick for the beard. You're not supposed to use plastic and metal because it'll snatch your beard, snatch mm -hmm. your hair out. Right. Uh, we have a wave conditioner. Y'all was talking to Marcus about the waves and stuff. We have a wave mm -hmm. conditioner that's also natural. Uh, so check us out, man. We got subscriptions so you don't have to worry about uh, reordering when you out a product, man. So we got everybody covered and respected. 
Roots.com. Well, there you have it. Where my bell go? Let's go. The black market is over. It's straight to Roots. We out of here. I love it. That's dope, man. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it.